When your teacher supplies you with supplies for the color wheel, you'll receive a blank color wheel and the teacher will explain to you where to find your other supplies including paper towel, containers to put small amount of water in, a brush, and a palette to mix your paint on. <clears throat> You'll also be supplied with paint to use. We use tempera paints to do our color wheel and we use small amounts at a time on the palette. The key to doing the color wheel is to try to use your brush as precisely as possible and hold it tight up near the top like it's a pencil so that you can get good control of it. We like to do a good job staying very carefully within the lines when we create the wheel. We're going to do the color in the center part of the pie slice in the wheel. And on the outer rim of the, pie, of the pie slice, we're going to create a shade of the color. And on the inner part of the pie slice, we're going to create a tint of the color. We create tints of colors by adding white to the paint. And we create shades of colors by adding black to the paint. And we can turn the paper so that we can be very precise about how we put our lines in and how we add our paint so that we're very, very careful about how we do this. You may find that doing another coat will help cover the word that's written on the page if you want to. Otherwise, just being as precise as you possibly can with your painting technique, building eye-hand coordination and being precise. When the time comes, you can mix your white and your black paint into your color in order to create shades and tints. And again, you don't need much paint, just a little bit, especially with black, because black is a very powerful pigment. And if we add too much black, we can very easily make the color get dark very quickly. So I already have yellow on my brush. I'm going to take a little bit of extra yellow and put it over here to create a shade of yellow. And you'll see, as I do this, that I take the tiniest, tiniest little bit of paint on the tip of the brush to create this shade and you'll see how quickly it affects the yellow. You'll notice that creating a shade of yellow is actually creating green. Adding black to the yellow actually creates a little bit of a green. I'm going to mix that. I need to make sure I have enough to do the section of the pie slice that's on the outer rim. That's a pretty good shade of yellow right there. So I'm going to come in here and add this to my wheel. And like I said, we can see that that's green. And I'm going to do the same thing with white when it comes time for me to do my tint. Once again, I can change the, whoops, the position of my paint. And there you can see one possible problem. It's spilling a little bit of water, but that's not a big deal. We didn't get it on the wheel, so we should be OK. And use a paper towel to clean that up pretty easily. Let me soak all that extra water up with some paper towel. <clears throat> and I'm going to finish my shade. And I like to go back over my painted area to try to smooth it out as much as I can. Now I have to create a tint of the paint. And to do that, I want to clean my brush off first. So I'm going to take my brush and scrub it into that water really well. And I'm going to use my paper towel to get all the excess water off of the brush. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to get myself some yellow paint and move it over here to create my tint. And I can get some white out of that and add it into my yellow to create the tint of yellow. And a tint of yellow is kind of a nice creamy color. We can see that there. And I'm ready to do my tint. So I'm going to take my brush again, just trying to be very careful about how I handle this. And I'm going to be as precise as I can, creating that inner part of the pie slice. I'm going to re repeat this procedure with the primary colors, doing yellow, blue, and red. And then I'm going to mix my secondary colors. And as I proceed with my wheel, I'm going to want to make sure that when I make my secondary colors, I make plenty of them. Because once I finish blue and red, it's time for me to do my secondary colors. 
Now we'll know that the secondary color that's going to go into this slot is going to be green because that's in between blue and yellow. And I'm gonna, when I make the green, I'm going to want to make plenty of the green because I'm going to use it to do this pie slice. Then I'm going to add yellow to that green to do yellow green, which is going to be this tertiary color right here. And I'm going to need to add blue to that green to create blue green, which is going to be the tertiary color right here. Again, this is blue. This is yellow. This will be green. This will be yellow green and this will be blue green. I need green paint to do all three of these pie slices. So when I mix my green paint, I want to make sure that I have plenty of that green paint to do all of this. The same is true when I make my purple and when I make my orange. I mix plenty of that paint because I'm going to need that purple to make red purple and to make blue purple. Now if it helps you, you can very lightly pencil in the name of the color that's going to go in that particular slot. I've given you red, blue, and yellow. And if you want to and it helps you, go ahead and pencil those in and you can do those on your own. Please don't forget to put your name and period number at the top because we have so many color wheels in the classroom. Many of them look very similar. We want to make sure we, we know which one is yours. This is going to be stored on your shelf on top of everything else. Don't slide it in underneath something and smear it. Store it on top. Handle it carefully when it's wet.